Right, uh, hello there, it's me again. Um, this is me back in Bar Hill. June, uh, Saturday, December the 22nd. Right, uh, let's see what we got. Cleaning stuff. Don't worry, the quality of the camera work gets better. Right, so they removed the Christmas wreaths on the 14th of January. That's a bit earlier than usual. Right, let's have a wee look. What have we got? Is that one ring? No. Ah, okay. Oh, they must have lifted it uh, for the... Must have lifted it to do a last grass cut because they put all oh, Alan's flowers for the last time I was on. Okay, a couple of new residents as well. Oh, no. No wreath from Alan's dad yet. It's kind of unusual. However, let's see. Going up here, so I can catch some of the action. I think uh, essentially the <sighs> Alan's dad normally brings in a wreath up. It's maybe a bit too early, but I don't think so. It's unusual. Um, shit. Okay, so that's the cleaning done. Um, went quite nice, a wee bit shiny, a bit more protective from the elements for another wee while. Uh, here there's heartstone. Yep, I've got it, it's alright, it's here. I picked it up, I've washed it. And I'm just going to dry it off. And then I'll put his cab down. Okay, so there's your heartstone here. I know you're always happy that it's still here. I think Alan does like it. Uh. Oh, right, okay. So, anyway. I hope that if you're watching people, particular people, then you're happy that you know, Alan's been looked after. Because I love him so much. Absolutely. I mean, I know people say things like, oh, when you're dead, you know, you were the best guy ever, but Alan was made for me. He was sent for me. Anyway, right, let's go and get the PS to do the stalls. Look, look at the sheep. You know, if I've been a shitty village, um, the cemetery's lovely. So, I won't say too much about that. Uh, right, in the car. Here we go. Uh, Right. Oh. <laughs> Hello, buddies. Right, let's see. I don't know why Alan's dad hasn't sent anything up. I'm hoping it's just a bit later this year. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Get like cinnamon sticks and berries and pine cones and things. I think it looks quite elegant. Anyway, uh, I don't know where to place these things. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do I place it there? Uh, what do you think? 
Yeah, okay. No, doesn't quite look right, does it? Back to be the first thought. <laughs> Apologies for the quality of the the uh, the cinematography. <laughs> do it. I'm going to give another headstone a wee clean. Tell anybody I did that, right? That's your secret. So, I've got one more thing before I go. I need to, um, oh, I've got Alan's He's a treat. It's not so much a treat now. I tend to bring one every time because I'm generally apologising for something. He never seems to eat it, I wonder why. Even the rabbits, although those rabbits can eat chocolate, I don't think so. I know somebody who does know all about rabbits, uh, but I don't think they can eat chocolate. I think even for us, chocolate's poison, so what's it going to be like for them? I haven't seen that, my dogs used to eat chocolate. Yeah, oh well. Not to be said for that, they would eat anything, they buggers. Okay, so here we go. Oh. Can you believe it? I forgot something else. Uh, I was in the forest yesterday to pick up the, the flowers. And uh, Fantastic. Yeah, can you believe it? I almost forgot his rose. Typical. Oh well, done now. Well, um, sorry I get interrupted there. People come in, um, and although sort of it's some filming things and videoing things with the camera and all that. They deserve a bit of privacy, but also, even although I'm going to publish this on YouTube, um, for me, it's a kind of private time and I don't want to share it with anybody, so I just switched off. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to try and sort of edit together, but I'm crap at these things, so it's very unlikely to happen, at least in some sort of reasonably sensible way, but however, we'll see. Um, so that was me. I've done the gravestone, give it a wash and a brush up and a polish. Um, got his wreath and things, his swag as they call it. Um, anybody want to know where I got it? Uh, a company called Occasions in Coat Bridge in Lanarkshire. Um, I just tell them, you know, I'm looking for this and they know exactly my style and things. So I'm really pleased. It's like a good barber and a good car mechanic. You know, I mean, you build up that relationship, so it's good for that. For the moment, though, it's a Saturday morning. I came down early because I'm working today. I've been working early tomorrow. Um, I th I'm thinking Christmas Eve coming down here. No, I don't want to leave it that long. I'm surprised because I've, normally when I come down, there's a wreath from Alan's dad. And I, I haven't seen one for... That's the second year. I haven't seen one. 
I'm not sure. He might, you know, they might arrive later on, um, or Christmas Eve or whatever. I'm not sure. But for me, I think it's, uh, I don't know what's happening, to be honest. And by the time I come down next time, the, the wreaths will be uplifted because they uplift them now. I think it's January the 14th, I think the notice said. Sometimes they leave them into February, which is quite nice. But I suppose, you know, once it's done, it's, it's like de Christmas decorations, I suppose, in a bizarre way. You bring them down, after, you know, after it's all gone and done, done with for another year. At the moment, I'm feeling okay. Um, I mean, I was there, I was... I went, I, you'll see, I went back and forward. I forgot his chunky Kit Kat out the car, then I forgot, I thought, that's me. And I thought, oh my goodness, he's Rose. Um, picked that one specially yesterday as well. And... Uh, put it in rose food overnight so that it was nourished and maybe last a wee bit longer. The, uh, the, I don't know. It's, this is the, this is, oh goodness. So, you know, I can't even remember how many Christmases it is to be honest, I'm sorry. Uh, it doesn't get any easier. It's not any easier. I have a, I go through a well of emotions when I come down here. The journey is is complicated by that as well. So to, today as I'm coming down the M77, I'm just absolutely lashing down my rain and um, gone mental. And uh, then obviously slow moving traffic was holding me back and it's just frustration after frustration. And I get the feeling that Alan's sitting beside me kind of laughing and saying, you know, you don't change. The older you get, the worse you're getting. I suppose that's true. You know, Alan for me was a balance. You know, how they talk about that yin and yang sort of stuff. Alan was my balance. He was the, the half of me that I didn't have. And I think I was the half of him that he didn't have. Um, I'm the bullshit bugger who can go ahead and, and he was the quiet, determined, uh, intelligent, lovely man. Anyway, uh, so... Christmas, working Christmas, who gives a shit about Christmas anyway, it's rubbish, and uh, get out tomorrow for dinner, yeah, and maybe a bit of bowling, and uh, that'll be my pre-Christmas, post-Christmas kind of thing, and then I'm going out on New Year's Day, uh, actually going out for an evening, which will be nice, and uh, you know, I'm doing stuff, but I'm not particularly... Not particularly changing my habits. Uh, too late for that, I think, you know. Too long in the tooth. But, you know, this is a habit that... I, I wish I didn't have to do it. I didn't have it. Um, but I do have it, and it's a good one uh, to come down and look after. Uh, just... You know, when you know somebody's really made for you... On whatever level, it doesn't matter about whatever, right? It's nothing to do with it. It's just that feeling when you know things are just right. Not perfect, but just right. And that's what Alan was and is to me, just right. So. Well, what can I say? He was my husband. He is my husband. And... Uh, no, that's enough. Right, that's enough. Leah, thank you.